Tuaraya mama mama tuaraya mama Sia o mela Jesus sia o mela Jesus Yes Jesus tuaraya mama Sia o mela tuaraya mama mama tuaraya mama Sia o mela Jesus sia o mela Jesus is a Jesus to what I am, Mama. See, I will To what I am, Mama. To what I am, Mama. See, I will Jesus. See, I will Jesus. Is a Jesus to what I am, Mama. Father, Lord, we want to thank you. You deserve all the praise, you deserve all the glory, you deserve all the honor, you deserve all adoration. For everything you have been doing in our lives, we want to say thank you, glory be unto your holy name. Forever in Jesus' name. Once again, I welcome you to Spiritual Breakfast. Wherever you are listening to me, I say God bless you. God bless you. And my God, we bless you today in the name of Jesus. We are still on the spiritual breakfast uh, it's a program to prepare you for every day encounter. And we are still on the, the topic, let the let there be light. Our text is from Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Our God, the Lord, strong and mighty, Lord, mighty, but the Lord of hosts is light. He's the God of light. And when he delivers, he delivers with his life. Whenever God's life shines upon a man, everything that has to do with his deliverance is completed. Instantly. It is done instantly. Whenever God wants to deliver a man and he, he beams his light upon that man, he sets that man free from every bondage and captivity and he, he restores the man to the fullest. When God wants to deliver, he delivers with his dazzling light. And when he wants to arrest, he arrests with his dazzling light. And that's how he arrested Paul and brought him to salvation. And he then I commanded a prophesy that the light of God will deliver you. Remo Shakanda, Remo Rokonakanda. That the light of God will deliver you, the light of God will heal you, the light of God will save you. The light of God will restore you all your inheritance. Will restore everything the enemy has stolen from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the light of God will deliver and restore your family and heal your family of every affliction, of every sickness, disease, and infirmity. I decree right now, receive your deliverance, receive your healing, salvation, and my restoration by the mandate of heaven upon life and by the powers invested in me in the name of Jesus. This was seven saying, submit yourself unto God, therefore, submit yourself, therefore, unto God, resist the devil and will flee from you. When God says, submit yourself unto God, God is saying, surrender yourself completely unto me. God is saying, surrender everything yourself, everything that is yourself. Surrender your everything, surrender yourself, surrender your problems, surrender your battles, your worries, and every problems of your life. Unto me as the God Almighty, as the God that can deliver to the utmost, and the God that can heal to the utmost, and the God that can restore to the utmost, as the God that can save to the utmost. He has all the ability to solve the problem. He says, Submit yourself to me, surrender everything that afflicts you, surrender everything that troubles you, and I will give you rest. He says, He all he that labor and heavy laden. I will give you rest. That's what God is saying here. Then, you, know, you know, God he has all the ability to set you free. In the name of Jesus, I give you all the victories you need. Psalm 4, 5 says, offer, offer the sacrifice of righteousness. Psalm 4, 5 says, offer the right, sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. God wants us to put our trust in Him. And trust him absolutely. Not trust him partially, trust him 100%. God wants us to trust him 100%. He has all the abilities to do that. God says, 
Let those who trust in the Lord rejoice. The Bible says, let those who trust in the Lord rejoice. The Bible says, but they that know thy name will put thy trust in you. The Lord is my rock and my forest and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I trust. I will trust. The Lord is even the souls of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion that cannot be removed, but abide it forever. The Lord is my goodness, and my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer, my shield, and my and in whom I trust. Who are by who subdued my the people under me? God will never disappoint those who trust in Him. His light remains in the homes and everywhere the homes of those who trust in Him. And everywhere they go, the presence of God goes with them, and the light of God goes with them. We must If only you all do something this morning and put all your trust in God and stop doubting God. You will see the wonders of God in your life. In the name of Jesus. The generation of those who trust in God are called generations of light. They are called generations of light. The light of God destroys every darkness and dark powers against them. Because no darkness can stand the light of God. Jesus is light. The devil is darkness. If Jesus is with you, if Jesus knows you, wherever you go, Jesus will go with you. And the devil cannot stand the presence of Jesus. That is why the Bible says, submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee because if you submit yourself to God, if you know Jesus and he knows you, he goes with you wherever you go and you will speak to God and heaven will answer and the devil will flee. That's what the Bible says in James 4, 7. I see you offering the sacrifice of righteousness and putting your trust in the Lord and I see the light of God fighting for you forever. I declare I command and I declare and I prophesy by the mandate of heaven upon my, upon my life and by the powers invested in me. I command, I declare I command your battles are over. Your battles are over. Every battle you are fighting in life. I, I decree unto you this morning. I declare unto you this morning. I profess unto you this morning that that battle is over. That battle is over. That battle is over. That battle is over. The sin is over. The sin is over. I decree the name of Jesus. Rimbo shakano rimbo rukonara kimando rimbo kurakanda. The darkness of my life is over. I decree the light of God over your life, over your entire life. And I decree that darkness, I decree that darkness to go and never to return. I decree that darkness to go and never to return forever and forever in the name of Jesus. I declare that I command and I prophesy and I declare that by the mandate of heaven upon my life and by the power invested in me that the Lord God Almighty Will be your rock, Kando Rimo Shakano. The Lord God Almighty will be your strength. And Rima Rakimano Rimo Kona Rakanda. The Lord of God will be your provider. Rimo Rokono Rimo Shikanda. The Lord of God Almighty will be your all sufficiency. In the name of Jesus, Rimo Shakano Rimo Kono Rimando Shikanda Ramakando Rimo Kono. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that I command and I declare that I prophesy by the mandate of heaven upon my life, by the powers invested in me, that the Lord God Almighty will be your goodness. The Lord of God Almighty will be your goodness, will be your fortress in the name of your Rimbo Shaka Will be your high tower in the name of Jesus. 
Rimbo Shikano Rokono will be your deliverer in the name of Jesus. Rima Makando Rimbo Shikana will be your healer in the name of Jesus. Rima Hando Rimbo Kurakanda will be your seed in the name of Jesus. Rima Rakando Rimbo Shikano Rokono will be your savior in the name of Jesus. Rimbo Shikana Rabakanda. But we be your close brother in the name of the Rimbo Shikana Rabakanda. He will supply all your need, all your riches, sir. He, he will supply all your needs, sir. In his glory, he will supply all his needs. In the richness of his glory, by Christ Jesus, God will supply everything you need. You will never lack any good thing from now on. Only and only if you put your trust in him. In the mighty name of Jesus, he will supply your needs according to his riches in glory, by Christ Jesus. Rimo Shanda, Rimo Rokonda, Rimando Shikanda, Ramakima Dorikanda, Ramahe Kanda, Rimo Shikanda, Rimondo, Rimanda, Rimo Kanda, Dorikanda. That seed is over in the name of Jesus. That battle is over in the name of Jesus. Every darkness in your life, I declare and I command by the mandate of heaven upon my life and by the powers invested in me. I declare by the light of God, I command that darkness to flee. And all the powers of darkness, I command them to be arrested by the light of God. I command them to be arrested by the light of God. I command the angels of fire to gather them uh, to the strong, to the strong of God, to the judgment of God. And I command them, in the name of God, they shall not come at a life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rimo Shakando, Rimo Kurakanda. And I declare, I command and I declare, and I prophesy by the mandate of heaven upon my life, by the powers invested in me. I command that henceforth you shall be like Mount Zion that cannot be removed. Henceforth you shall be like Mount Zion that cannot be removed. And you will abide in the Lord God Almighty forever. You will abide in the Lord God Almighty forever. You will never be shaking any longer. You will never be threatened any longer. You will never struggle any longer. You will move like in the power and the might of God. And God will be your shield and your buckler. You will be the supplier for your needs. His, his name is Jehovah El Shaddai. The all sufficiency will shall be all sufficiency in every age of your life. Financially, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, monetarily, materially, biologically, ministerially. In the name of Jesus, that I decree by the mandate of the power life and by the powers invested in me in the name of Jesus. This very program is going to end, and I want to tell you the Bible says, Offer the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in Him. You cannot receive that which I have declared this morning if you are not a child of God. Don't deceive yourself. I want you to never know just as one of Savior, wherever you are, I want you to go on your knees. Right now, confess your sins unto God, ask Him to forgive you. And bless you from all our righteousness, as that the blood of God will have paid for you, and wash you as white as snow. Accept this Lord, and this Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior and Master. And this everything I've spoken concerning your life shall begin to manifest according to the will of God, according to that which I have spoken in the name of Jesus. And I want to say to you as you go out, go out, go in the might of God. Go in peace and come back in peace. Go in peace and come back with multiple blessings. The hand of God will be upon your life. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree man. I decree you blessed in the name of Jesus. I decree you blessed in the name of Jesus. I decree blessed in the name of Jesus. And so shall they be. Forever, forever. In the name of God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Good morning. I'll see you same time, 5 a.m. tomorrow morning for another program. Another broadcast. God bless you. Just well with you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen.